Hello, we come to our next concept in statistics now. Um, and, well, uh, we've seen averages uh, where, that are a measure of central tendency, uh, okay, where the center of a list or a data set is, roughly. Um, and you may have seen range as well in the past. They're often taught with averages, but it is not an average. It is what we call a measure of spread. Um, now, that means uh, how spread out is the data. Now, if we look at the first list up there, um, well, if we want to do the range, we just do 28 minus 2, and what we get is 26, and that says, well, how, that says how uh, spread out the whole of the data is there. Um, but really, uh, 28 is a bit of an outlier. Uh, n nearly all of the data is 6, 7, 8, 9, that kind of thing. Um, so, most of the data isn't that spread out, yet the range tells us that it's 26 spread out. Um, well, is there another way? Uh, well, yes, that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so if we order a list, um, this is the ordered version of the list above, and we find the median, um, which is right in the middle there, um, and the median is 7. Um, this is just helping us with uh, our other measure of spread. Um, okay, then we uh, want to find the, the median of uh, the first half of the list and the second half of the list, um, if that makes sense. Uh, so halfway between 6 and 6, halfway between 8 and 9, uh, and we're going to call these sort of sub-medians uh, quartiles, okay, because it's kind of like a quarter of the way through the list and three quarters of the way through the list. And we can technically call the median uh, quarter or two as well. Now we split the list up into four equal parts, basically. Um, or we found a point that's a quarter of the way through the list and a point that's three quarters of the way through the list. Now we can find a different measure of spread, which says how far is there between quarter one, Q1, and quarter three, Q3. Um, and we call this the interquartile range. So it measures how spread out is the, the middle two quarters, okay, the 50% chunk in the middle of the list, rather than how spread out is the whole list. Okay, and if we do that, um, well, firstly we get 8.5 minus 6, 2.5. That's the interquartile range of this list. Okay, and the good thing is that it ignores outliers like 28. Okay, we have another list here. Um, that has a different uh, amount of data points, um, just to show you how how to split it up and find those quartiles uh, when it's a different number like this, because sometimes it changes slightly. Okay, so here we start off by finding the median again, or just where the median is. It's actually not actually important what the median is. Okay, and we're going to split it up either side of that median. So we have those four numbers to the left of it, the four numbers to the right of it. Uh, then uh, our Q1 will be halfway between 21 and 27, so 24, and quartile 3, halfway between 20, 66 and 74, so 70. Okay, so how spread out um, is, uh, or what's the difference between these two quartiles? Uh, well, we subtract 17 minus 24 uh, is 46. Okay, so that is um, how spread out the the middle two quarters of the list is and that isn't actually perfectly correct uh, for a list like this as it was in the first list uh, but still this is what we would call the interquartile range in this example okay it's so just a second measure of spread that we're learning on top of range that you learned many years ago and there will be a third or even fourth uh, measures of spread that you will learn in this course